What is going on fellow game developers? My name is Muddy Wolf and today we are going to be continuing continuing our VR tutorial series and we're going to add in the ability to move around inside of our VR space. Um, and just to mention one thing, uh, Bastion actually um, commented on the last video to mention that to actually use the XR tools, we need to enable the plugin. So here inside of our project settings, you go over to plugins and then there is this XR Tools plugin. Make sure you enable it that because you're going to actually get need that for the rest of the tutorial. Now with that being done, all we need to do to get movement in our game is to add in some of the XR Tools functions. So on the left hand, I am going to add in the actual ability to move around. So I'm going to press Control, Shift and A to instantiate a child scene or you can right click and click instantiate child scene here then we want to search for movement and then select the movement direct here and add it to our left hand now over on the right we will be you've got a few settings here so one of them is strafe which means are you able to move left and right while still facing forward uh, and we want that on i want to be able to move left right forward and back with our left hand if we turn this off you would only be able to move forward in whichever way your character is facing you can also change the max speed and the the order i don't actually know what the order does but i'm just going to leave it at default f now with these added to it we can actually test this by going back to our well you don't actually have to go back to main but let's uh connect to the oculus app okay and now i'm connected into the oculus app i can hit play on our scene here and it should load me into game where i can now move forward left right forward and back and you can see here that i am moving around now it's a bit hard to see you can't have to use the floor as a guide to actually move around but the issue is i can't turn around uh with my controller i can only turn around in real life which is cool i like obviously being in real life you know that's more fun way to turn around however it is useful especially when you play sitting down games and other games to be able to turn with the actual joystick so let's add in that functionality so once we've got that we need to go back to our x origin and to our right hand this time we're going to do the same thing so Control shift a and then we are going to type in movement turn and actually select this. Now over on the right, you can select the turn mode, whether that be snap turning or smooth turning. For this tool, I'm going to keep it as snap, um, but we can also turn on other ones. Now you want to have, have a good step turn delay or snap turn delay, it says step turn there. Um, and a good angle now i'm going to set the angle to be 30 maybe even 35 because i like to turn quite a bit because i will turn in real life and then i want to be able to like snap uh, and actually i'm going to put a 45 because then you get good increments um and there you go so that's that and then step turn delay um essentially if you put that at zero you would be able to turn infinite it, when you press turn it would turn hundreds of times really quickly so you actually do want to have a delay here um, just to stop it from basically turning too quick. So let's test this out by slapping on the controller I'm gonna hit f5 on my keyboard to actually launch the scene and here we go So now I'm in this world you can see I'm looking down if I press this you can see I am Snap turning around now I can snap turn the other way and there you go You can see I can just snap turn all the way around here we spin, 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 spin. And there you go. That is how you add in movement and turning to your VR game in Godot. It is so easy and dead simple to add thanks to the XR Tools add-on. So over on uh, down here, we obviously added in the Go dot, um, XR Tools in the last video. And there is so many different functions you can add in here. And I'm going to show you a few of these in the next few tutorials. But just a few to mention, if we type in movement, for example, you can see this movement climbing gliding crouching flight sprinting grappling um wall walking and even more stuff as well we can also type in functions here and you'll see we've also got a teleport function a pose direct detector pickup 
and there's just so many more things we can actually add in with literally just a click of, off the button to add in these features to our game. It's so good and I will explain those in future videos. So let me know what you want to see next. Would you like to see us picking up stuff in the game or would you like to see jumping? Let me know what you would like to see and we can add that in. But for now guys, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below. And if you are new around here, you can join our Discord server. The link is down below. Also, don't forget to check out the Patreon where you can support this channel um, and also get the source code for everything we do here. So each episode will be uploaded. Um, the link will be down below directly to this package um, and you'll be able to see each episode. So episode one, episode two, episode three when it comes out and all of those will be there available for you to download, including other tutorials that I have done in the past are also there to download as well. So guys, that's going to be it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.